In this video, we're going to get started building the tabs and the collapsing toolbar for the application. So as you probably saw in the demo of the app, if you search a bunch of stuff and you scroll upwards, that toolbar actually collapses. So that's what's called a collapsing toolbar. So it's a little different than a regular toolbar because it collapses. Uh, that was probably obvious. But so it's going to take a little bit of extra setup. But that's what we're going to do in this video. So to start things off, we need to open our build.gradle app folder app file sorry and we need a dependency because to use toolbars and collapsing toolbars and coordinator layouts it requires uh, something extra so it's called the design support library so design support library dependency and I will just copy this because it's actually pretty similar to this one right here we just need to change app compact to support and get rid of the Oh, what happened there? Get rid of the uh, V7 and the dash, and that's it. So com android support colon or colon design and then colon 26 plus. And now we'll hit sync. Oh, whoops. <laughs> it's uh, not support. I put support support. It's support design. There we go. Okay, now let's start building our layout. So we'll close this, and we're going to open up search activity or activity search. And we're going to change this to a coordinator layout, first of all, because we need that to use toolbars. And so we'll start by doing an app bar. Let's do a match parent and wrap content for that one. And then set some elevation. Let's do 10 dp. And set a background of blue 4. I've already picked out these colors, obviously. And give an ID of app bar. And then do fit system window to true. And then inside, so the way that a collapsing toolbar works is you define an app bar layout and then everything you put inside the app bar layout is what's going to collapse. So you put the collapsing toolbar inside of here to match parent and wrap content. And let's define some properties. We actually need one property, app, layout, uh, scroll flags. And what we want to do is scroll and also we want to do exit until collapsed. So that's what's going to make it collapse at the end of it. So now inside here we'll put inside of our tabs because the tabs whoops because our tabs are what is going to actually collapse. So tab tab layout and do match parent and we're just going to make them 50 dp for their height and give it an ID of tabs and do app set the collapse mode to Parallax, parallax, parallax. <laughs> that's what will make it collapsible, basically. So that's that's where we're gonna put our tabs. Cool. So that's all we need to do. So this whole basically container right here is what's gonna collapse, and then everything we put below it won't collapse. So then down here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a text view and do match parent and wrap content, and I'm gonna do some put some test text inside here just to make sure that it's working correctly. So I'm gonna, this is what I like to do when I'm testing, when I'm building an app bar layout and testing to make sure it's working. Um, I just put some dummy text in here just to make sure. That way I can test it. And we'll just say below, whoops. Oh, I don't have a relative layout. So let's just put a relative layout here. Match parent, wrap content, and we'll give this an ID of dummy text and we'll put the dummy text inside of this relative layout and then we'll put some more dummy text below that one just to make sure that it actually does take up the entire window so down below the dummy text there we go that way we can we it will actually test the collapsing toolbar now since we're going to be using tabs we need to build our sections pager adapter so go and create a new Java class. Actually, we'll create it in the utility package. Call it sections pager adapter. And we want to extend the fragment pager adapter. So fragment pager adapter. And if you've watched my tab tutorial on my YouTube channel, I talk all about this and when to use the fragment pager adapter or when to use the fragment state pager adapter, which would be that one right there, so fragment state pager adapter. Um, so if you want more information on that, check those out. But I'm not going to talk too much about them in this video since I've already covered it. 
So private, final, and we need to create a list of our fragments. So fragment, import the list, and we'll do m fragment list equals new array list. And we need our default constructor, so alt insert default constructor. And let's see, so get item, and we need a an add fragment method, so private void add fragment and we're going to pass a fragment object and then we just want to add that fragment to our fragment list so m fragment list dot add fragment and the get count will return fragment list dot size and get item we want to return fragment si or fragment list dot get that item and that's all we need to do for this class so we close it and we're going to go back into search activity and we're going to set up our tabs. So we need to define a couple objects. First we'll get our log. Uh, let's see, widgets, variables. So first the widgets, we need a tab layout. So tab layout, and we can just do m tab layout. And we need a view pager. So we're going to need to access it from other classes. So that's why I'm making it public. So m view pager. And inside the ver underneath variables here, we're going to do uh, private. Uh, maybe I'll actually have to access that too. So we'll make it public. Whoops, sections, pager adapter, m pager adapter. Cool. So those are all the objects we need for this video. Now do m tab layout equals tab, not table layout. It always tries to give me a table layout. Tab layout and then find view by id, r.id dot something tabs. I think it's just tabs. And now we'll do our view pager, view pager, view pager, find view by r dot id dot. I'm going to call it view pager container. And like I said, I haven't added that yet, so we're going to need to add that to our layout here. We're going to put that, uh, let's see, we'll put it inside this relative layout. So I'll do view pager, match parent, and match parent. And this is what actually is going to hold all the different tab fragments if I didn't mentioned that earlier. So view pager container. And for now, it's not going to be holding anything because we're just going to be testing the collapsing toolbar, but we just need to add it there. So there we go. Now I want to create a method for setting up our view pager. So public void setup view pager and pager adapter equals new sections pager adapter. And we just need to get the support fragment manager and then we can do pager adapter pager adapter dot Oh, I didn't make the method public. Uh, so let's go back into our sections pager adapter. And let's see, this needs to be public. Because as you can see, when I tried to add, what's going on here? Oh, not that. Uh, this guy right here, this one needs to be public. That way we can access it here. There we go. And then we want to add a fragment. I don't have any other fragments. I don't actually even have any fragments. Now I think about it. So I won't add any fragments. Uh, I, I think the the tab, the toolbar will still get set up even if I don't add any fragments. So if it doesn't, then I'll just create some dummy uh, fragment class in a second here. So set the adapter to the pager adapter and then tab layout set up with view pager and just do M view pager. And let's see, we don't need to add any text or any tabs or anything. So let's just try that and let's see if we get that toolbar coming in. So let's hit hit play. Uh, it's telling me that something's wrong with that blue four color. So let's go into activity search. And yeah, so it should be at color blue four. Try that again. I don't know why it's not recognizing the color. That's weird. Okay, it's got a couple issues here. It's not scrolling and also notice the text is kind of up in this bar. Uh, so let's scroll down and we need to change this to uh, scrolling app behavior for the layout behavior. And we also need to add a nested scroll view. So Since we're not even really using the view pager, what I'll do is I'll cut it out of this relative layout. And I'm just going to paste it above and then inside of actually just outside of this relative layout, I'll add a nested scroll view because we need that for any scrolling content. And then I'm going to take the contents of the relative layout. We're going to put it inside of the scrolling, the nested scroll view. And then I'm going to take this app layout behavior and put it here. There we go. So now 
Because kind of the main components that you need to make a collapsing toolbar is you need an app bar, you need the collapsing toolbar, and then whatever you want inside the collapsing toolbar. And then beneath that, you need a nested scroll view for all of your scrolling scrollable content. And you need to implement the app bar scrolling view behavior. So that should be good now because we don't, we don't, we're not using this right now. So it's kind of just sitting in between doing nothing. And then we have our nested scroll view with our scrolling content here. So let's try that again. And there, so now it seems to be working correctly. It doesn't appear to be a collapsing tool because we don't have like that search bar sitting right here. So it doesn't look like it, but it is actually working the way it's supposed to. Because if we look at the test app, that search bar gets anchored kind of as you scroll up, but it just doesn't appear to be what's happening here because we don't have that search bar, but it is working the way it's supposed to. Okay, so that's it for this video. Now in the next one, what we'll do is we'll, we'll build the fragments for these other uh, tabs up here. We'll build the watch list fragment, post fragment, and account fragment, and set them up in our view pager so that we can scroll through the fragments, just like we can do in the application. So I'll see you in that next video.